Today I'm gonna to share with you my three tips to help you film better vlogs in your home. Number one, decent lighting and audio. Get yourself some basic video lights, they're not expensive. Here I've got a video light to my left, a video light to my right, and a video light on the top. They're about $60 each, I think, something very cheap. Guys, video lights and some stands, some simple light stands. I'll show you this one right here. Look at that, it's a simple nano stand with a tiny little video light. Now, audio, get yourself a lapel mic here. I've got the Rode Filmmaker Kit. There's a bunch of different uh, audio setups out there, but you wanna have a lapel mic. If you can't get a lapel mic, get a shotgun mic that is just out of frame. So you put it here, then raise up the mic and have it just out of frame. You wanna have the audio source as close as possible to your subject right here. I am the subject, obviously. Number two, how to speak. Now, you wanna think about what you're gonna say before you say it. So basically, it's like a, um, like a pipeline or like a train. The thought is coming into my head, I'm thinking about that thought, and then I'm speaking the words, okay? I'm not sort of ad-libbing. Everything I say to you guys, I'm thinking about it first. Generally, I write this down on paper, and I'll just go through it. Now, if you don't get it perfect the first time, you can go back and redo it. That's the beauty of digital video, guys. It's not expensive. So, think about what you're gonna say first, have a script in your mind, and say those words. Now, if that's really challenging for you, what you can do is break it up into small sections and cut and paste as you go. So you may choose to cut out the ums and ers and a bit where you look across to the paper and read the script. That's totally fine. People don't care that the video is cut. But the point is to have a plan, think about the words first, then say the words. That's gonna help you get over that kind of camera shock or that, uh, that uh, rabbit in the headlights kind of shock that people have when doing vlogs. And my final tip, my third tip, is to relax when you're on camera. Camera. Try not to be so uh, rigid and stiff. Now, we're all guilty of this. When I started vlogging, I was like, hello, my name is Will Faulkner, blah, 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 I am a robot. But those videos, they ranked very, very low. Now, my videos have definitely got a long way to go. They're not perfect, but what I have learned from other creators is that the more relaxed you are and the more authentic you are, the better the quality is and the more views you will get. So what I tend to do is look at the camera and imagine that I'm just speaking to uh, my wife or my friend and just try to relax. Try to speak to your audience as if they are real people. You're communicating just your knowledge across to your audience. There's no need to think that you're on, uh, you know, behind a news desk reading out a, a national bulletin or, you know, you're the president of the United States trying to get across a message. Just relax, be authentic. So I hope those three tips will help you film better vlogs for your channel. If you need more help, please reach out via the link above or below. Thanks very much.